Hello, and welcome to The Monster Painter. This week I take a look at one of my all-time favorite board games, Daytona 500. Yes, in fact, what appears to be little more than a trashy shovelware game is in fact the greatest game ever produced by Milton Bradley. Oh, I don't know about that, Liz. What about your quest, buddy? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, designed by Wolfgang Kramer, and released in 1990, Daytona 500 is part of a large family of games, including uh, Detroit Cleveland Grand Prix, Nicky Laudy's Formula One, Top Race, uh, Formula Nurburgring, Formula Formel Nurburgring, and uh, its most recent iteration, Downforce. Uh, generally, this family of games all uses the same card mechanic and it has uh, different tracks and has been iterated in a number of different languages and Daytona 500 is definitely all American. A single deck of cards is dealt out to all the players who evaluate them carefully before uh, participating in a simple auction to determine the particular ownership of each of the six cars in the game. The first car being auctioned off is the in the pole position and the owner of that car then takes the first turn playing a single card and then play continues to the next player in a clockwise style. And uh, it's in these cards where this game really, really sings. You play a single card. That card most likely will advance a number of different cards around the track at different rates. Uh, this, combined with the uh, nature of a race, leads to some very, very challenging and exciting decisions. And uh, you gotta manage your, your hand because if you got more than one car, if you got two cars, you've got to be you gotta carefully manage that hand, or one of your cars might not even make it across the finish line. And uh, you paid for those cars. You paid auction money for those cars. Can you make it pay? Can you win that sweet, sweet top prize? This is an exciting and tense game. Ultimately, Daytona 500 is a turn maximization game with a simple mechanic but complex decisions to be made. It's uh, bound by a straightforward race with the straightforward goals and straightforward results. The winner gets the big prize, uh, number eight gets a teeny prize. And um, because of this, friends with varying levels of board game skill and interests all really enjoy this game. Newbies, straight on to Euromasters, will play Daytona 500. Uh, I have always found it an exciting game. I rarely won it, but I love to play it. And as a result, I'm giving Daytona 500 my highest rating. Rev your engines! So Al, what do you think of uh, Daytona 500? It's a lot of fun. It's a nice... Uh, easy game to learn and there's a lot of tactics to it. It's a lot of that. Uh, yeah, there's a lot more player versus player than one expects in a race game. Right. <laughs> hey Matt, what did you think of Daytona 500? It's all through the best game ever created. I hope this guy's a millionaire. Next week on the Monster Painter, Campground Accessories. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Vroom, vroom!